Hello, everybody. Welcome in. Today is episode three of Motivation Mondays. Uh, I'm here with my friend, Absurd Parrot, uh, a great uh, streamer and a great friend of mine I've collaborated with in the past. And uh, honestly, just enjoy playing games with him. Let me be honest. Let me be honest. Um, so if you guys are new here, what Motivation Mondays is essentially every week I bring on a new streamer, another creator, uh, you know, and people from different genres, different styles, different backgrounds to help you guys just kind of understand a little bit more of the successes, the struggles and what what you know makes up that streamer and, and who they are, a little bit of history about them. And uh, hopefully all to inspire you, to motivate you, to give you guys some tips and behind the scenes, uh, you know, and, and help you to relate to some of the struggles because it isn't easy to be, uh, to be a streamer. It isn't easy to be a creator. This is all new territory for a lot of people. Yes, streaming has been around for many years, but, uh, you know, there's a lot of people still getting into it. And that's the whole point is we want to be here to uh, help you and, and shine a little bit of light on that. Uh, and the best part is we're live on Twitch right now, so you can come over and ask us questions. Uh, we're gonna have a Q&A session at the end of our, our little chat. And that way you guys can ask us if there's something that, you know, specific about Parrot or about myself that you guys are like, man, I really wish I understood this a little bit better. Feel free to come and ask us questions. Um, and all the links uh, are gonna be down below in the description because this is going on YouTube. And uh, let's make sure that we get a shout out and some uh, and some love in chat for Absurd Parrot. Uh, if uh, my mods could kindly uh, help us out. Uh, so welcome in, Parrot Man. Welcome. Thank you so much for being here. Oh, thank Taking you for the having time. me. Yeah, um, absolutely, absolutely. Um, I, I I've been wanting to talk to you and, and you know learn more about you when we when we chat and when we game and stuff. It's mm -hmm. a little bit of a different vibe, so I'm I'm right. excited to kind of be here and uh, I don't know pick your brain a little bit about streaming and and get in get into the into the weeds, you know. Yeah, no, I'm I'm excited <laughs> to be here. I'm honored honored to be on the most prestigious Dub Peaches stream. <laughs> very very honored. Uh, I appreciate that, man. Thank you, dude. Thank you very much. Um, all right, man. So I want to, I want to learn a little bit more about like, I think I want to know before, before the stream, you know, behind oh. the stream, who, like, what's your background? Like who, who are you? Who is Parrot? Who is <laughs> you know, Parrot? Like, you, I know that you're in architecture, right? Like that's mm -hmm. your, your field of study and stuff. So right. tell us a little bit about like, I don't know, your backstory well, some and how you got into streaming. My background may be a little absurd. Um, <laughs> I don't have my but up but um, yeah. So before stream, uh, yeah, I've, I've been in architecture through college and uh, through professional. I mean, I've probably been doing architecture for probably about fifteen years or so, plus or wow. minus. Um, you know, with including some school. So um, yeah. Before this, um, I was just working full time and. Actually, I had a side. I always, I'm, I'm a type of person where I always have a main thing, like I'm working, and then a side gig. So I okay. was working at an architecture firm, and I had a side thing going where I would do a little additions and drawings for people, and my bosses were fine with it because my thought was, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna go out my own one day, get my license, and do it. Sure. Um, and then at my next architecture firm job, uh, about a week before COVID happened, so this was 2020. Okay. Uh, I quit. Quit my last. I quit my job because nice. my boss was a jerk, and uh, <laughs> nice, I was good. like, you know, I'm going to take charge. I can start, you know, get oh, my yeah. license, and I already got a business ready, a business partner, and everything going. Yeah. And then nice. whole country shut down, whole world shut down, okay. and I was like, wow, yeah. this is a great time to work on my website, <laughs> get that finalized. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Um, and during that summer, I played hundreds of hours of Animal Crossing. Okay. I guess you could say that kind of bloomed into uh, streaming in some type of way because that was kind of my main game for better half of the last two years. Wow, okay. And so when did you start streaming? Uh, my two-year anniversary is just under a month from today, uh, November 20th, 2020. Okay, so you quit your job in March, and then all summer you played Animal Crossing. You weren't streaming yet. You started <laughs> no, streaming in November. Nope. nope. Oh, okay. But during this time, I was making friends with Animal Crossing, um, you know, having play dates and doing all that type of stuff and i was like oh this is kind of fun and i've been watching streamers for years okay um and then a buddy yeah. of mine started about a month or so before me and i was like wow twitch is kind of fun you know he was small just starting out and i was like okay. maybe i'll give this a try and i oh, started cool. about a month later and uh 
you know, we would co-stream together and kind of supported each other until he had to stop for work. But uh, okay. yeah, that's kind of the little bit of a background of it. That's cool. Do you still see that guy? Does he, uh, mm-hmm. he comes around the streams? Oh, yeah. yeah. Every once in a while he pops in. Yeah. <laughs> that's cool. How did you meet these, like, friends of from the, like, Animal Crossing community? Was it through Twitch or? Um, just honestly, just kind of looking online for people um, to play with. Like, there was, like, a huge Twitter. Okay. On Animal Crossing. This is actually before I was on Instagram. Um, okay. And I think someone shared with me a like a Animal Crossing Reddit, which I saw a lot of people were on. Um, and then there was about five of us, and okay. we would play every single day, talk every day. We all had WhatsApp numbers. We were texting each other, <laughs> like who had what belt, turnips for sale, and all you know, all that type of stuff. And yeah, uh, yeah, I was like, oh, people online are pretty nice when you find the right ones, you know. So yeah, that's the thing. Eh? When you find the right people, then it's uh. I don't know. And they're like you, you know, I know that everybody, I, I know that everybody's always like, you know, you're unique in your own, your own. Well, we're all unique, obviously, but right. there's so many other people like us, but in IRL, it's hard to find like the same type of people. And there's, and there's right. actually a lot of streamers that I've heard and someone that I've talked to that are like, no one in real life knows what streaming is. Like no one in my friends or family or circles oh. know what streaming is, know what Twitch is, none, none of that, you know? So there's a lot of us that are just like, yo, uh yeah. gotta find gotta find our people online i love that about like social media and, and instagram and stuff so cool man so um when did you start the path to instagram because i know that that oh. is where you grew so actually like i did everything i was i gave i took about a month so okay. that's part i i failed to mention i researched watch videos listen to podcasts about streaming about okay. people similar similar to, uh, to this conversation and what they did what they would do different and i was like okay i need to have a name i need to have kind right. of a main game because people like coming back for consistency yeah um and then you know i had a few friends already that i met online or whatever and i was like okay well i feel like i'll have a couple people coming in um and at that point absurd parrot was born nice. and uh you know artwork all that all that fun stuff kind of got started and uh how did actually, you come up with the name um like why the parrot well this is a joke in my chat where i always have a new story every single time they ask me i have a new reason so no one knows what it really so is. no one knows but uh you know you can say i got it in the back of our cracker barrel box to kind of age myself <laughs> let's just say so that you know, i thought it was a good name no? that fit i thought i thought it was a good i thought it was a good fit i'll okay. say that do you like parrots you like birds? Um, hmm. Like, have you ever had a bird? Have you ever had a parrot? I have a turtle. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so absurd turtle didn't really roll off the tongue no, as well as absurd no, parrot. You know, you know, I feel like my turtle, uh, he he copyrighted that. I don't think he'd be happy with that. <laughs> I love that. Okay, so wow. you took a month to do a little bit of research, and then uh, and that's when you started yeah, uh, posting on Instagram? Yeah, so actually everything started at once, like right around that week period i started posting on instagram okay i started streaming just because i was like okay it's kind of got to be like a united front got to have your you know all, everything re- ready to go i think i even bought my uh url i was like you know what? i'm just gonna have the website and it cost me like seven bucks because yeah. it was so unique um which i would say that to everybody if you're gonna have something you know it's get on, on google or GoDaddy, just buy the url because if you got it you got it now i have you know absurdpair.com yeah it's exactly easy and to the point yeah, me too. I, I use Google Domains and I got mm-hmm. the peachtv.com and for I think it's seven or eight bucks. Yeah. Yep. Then uh, a month. Uh, is it a month or a year? No, it was 20 um, bucks. For me, it was $20 for the entire year to have that name. Sorry. Yeah, I think it was something like that for a year. My, my, mine was only like 14. So. Okay. Well, 14 US, 20 Canadian, I guess. Hey, there we go. Yeah, See you guys. Advantage of being in the. No. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So, yeah, so what's cool about that, too, what a lot of people don't realize, I don't know if you did this, but you can actually get your own email address because mm-hmm. you have, uh, especially with Google, if you use yeah. the Google domains, it makes it a little bit easier. I think if you use the other domains, uh, they might give you um, some email as well. Mm-hmm. But I know with Google, there's a way to do it that you could get the name. So, like, I have business at thebeachdb.com. 
right. and you can email me there. And it's not like, you know, I use one email to log into all my video games and do all my mm-hmm. streaming stuff and log into my Twitch. And then right. I have business at uh, thepeachtv.com, which is my publicly available that I make available for anybody to contact me, right? Which right. And it looks, looks the more same professional. Thing? It looks more professional. Um, no, I do not. I'm just at Gmail. But <laughs> Okay. <laughs> which is fine, you know. But no, um, like 100%, like having, having an email from the get-go. I, I had an email. Everything was day one. Just have it set. And, you yeah. know, you learn along yeah. the way, like, oh, I should do this and that, you know, nothing's perfect day one. No, no, for sure. I think what's also important for that, though, is especially for streamers is like um, the donation stuff. If you're setting up PayPal yep. um, donation or tips, then when you if, if you use your actual PayPal account, then you might dox yourself <laughs> like yeah. your full name mm-hmm. and email address is available right. to people that are donating to you. And when they get the receipt, they say, thanks for your payment to first name, last name and email address. Right. So when you create, you know, your business account, even on PayPal, right. And talking about doing everything the right way. When you go to PayPal, you can change your account to a PayPal account. So what I did and what I suggest everyone to do is create a personal account, which is your own account that you use for PayPal and then create a second PayPal and put that one under your yeah, and put that under um, yeah your secondary email, right? Your business email. Right. Make it a business account, and then mm-hmm. you could change it to a to a company name instead. So right. that way, when people donate to you, it'll be stream username instead, which is uh, a little bit safer. Yeah, if you guys <laughs> want to do it, I'll test it with with the peach. You know, you know, send him <laughs> some love, and you'll see evidence firsthand. Oh yeah, look at that. I won't, live, I won't be live. I won't be live by the time. By the time. So tomorrow morning when Parry goes live, you can test on this. <laughs> <laughs> Cool, man. Yeah, I think that's smart. I think that's smart. Doing it all the right way. And um, do you feel that it helped you kind of feel a little bit more like confident and that like you were going into this like seriously? And, yeah. And that did that me, help you? Yeah, it helped me feel legit. Like, you know, from the first month, even before I was affiliate, I would have people come in and say, wow, you seem pretty set up. And this was back when I didn't even have a professional mic. It was just my Logitech camera. Nice. Um, <laughs> But, uh, yeah, I think it's just, you know, that's, that's yeah. you know, it makes you feel better too. Like, okay, I got it set up and then you can focus on the stream details, the fun part, you know, what games you're going to play, your overlays, all that stuff. True. Yeah. Yeah. I see it very often where streamers just start up and, you know, they'll put in the bio something like, uh, just streaming for fun. And then there's no info panels, you know, or their username might not be like mm-hmm. super nice or whatever it is. And it's like you're not really getting the proper experience because people come by your stream they might be like oh this guy's not really a streamer he might not stick around you know this content Mm -hmm. might not be here tomorrow so i don't know if i want to be part of this community you know i don't know if if other people feel that way as well when they when they see streamers with like no info panels and no Mm -hmm. nothing really set up no alerts or anything like that it's just like someone sharing their screen type of thing on, on twitch um, but I think when you get it set up from the get-go, it makes you feel a little bit more, uh, a bit more confident, a bit more excited too, you know, like, can't wait to go yeah. stream. I got this whole setup, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I think for me personally, if I look for someone new and I'm sure other people do the same, I'll, I'll click on them, wait for the ad to go. But while the ad's going, I'll usually look at their about section, learn a little bit about them and see yeah. if they're active on social media, you know, and read the, if they have a good about section, you know, and if they yeah, don't same. just have a. Um, uh, what's the word a donate button i've seen just a donate button yeah yeah uh, that's a little much yeah it's a little bit uh what's the word is it pretentious it's like you know obviously all these creators are out here and you know the main goal is to create content and Mm -hmm. you know be here and and create a space for people to come and hang out uh and it is given for free right but Right. donations are appreciated and the subscriptions and, and all the monetary you know financial support is greatly appreciated obviously right um yeah. and uh you know it helps to continue streamers to, to keep pushing and continue doing it but when you see just that it's like man you know come on <laughs> what, what what else what else um, uh, you know what else is there that you're going to give us right so uh definitely definitely i think that's that's important so good man you got all your stuff set up and what um like what were your goals originally with streaming like was the plan to go like full time for it to be your income so okay so for me personally i always think of everything like set your uh set your goals low and uh (laughs) 
And, you know, I was like, oh, let me try to make affiliate. And I think it took me exactly 40 days, which actually, you know, it's not short, but it's not long. Um, but I didn't really, I, like I said, I had nothing. So if you already have a, a social media following, it's going to be quicker. So right. I had, I starting every, everything was flat. Okay. Um, and then I had a couple friends and one, one really dedicated follower and he would be there every time for me. And I was just like, oh, you know, like seeing someone come just to cheer yeah. you on was enough to keep me going. Cause I was just like, oh, I'm just do this for fun. You know, uh, it's the end, you know, the middle of the pandemic still. And I was just like, oh, I'm gonna do this for fun. A couple, I think I only did, uh, two days a week for like two hours, which okay. most people would tell you if you're going to stream like four hours is a really good amount of time. Uh, which is what I stick to now, but I kind of had to, um, you know, it's like, uh, what's the word? It's like uh, working out. You have to kind of get your muscles going because talking, True. I'm actually an introvert. So it was, it was a lot for me to go out and like keep the conversation going or just talk about whatever. So I would have outlines of things to talk about, things to ask chat. Nice. Um, Prepared. Yeah. That's the way to do it. That's the way to do it. And no, but you're right. Um, not, not everyone realizes that, you know, these streaming for six, eight hours, 12 hours, like, uh, you might see some streamers do. It's like, mm -hmm. you can't just, uh, it you. day one, you know, for sure, yeah. for sure. It's, uh, it's draining with, you got the lights on and all the screens and mm -hmm. constantly talking and chatting and having mm -hmm. multiple conversations. If different chatters right. are coming in and you're right, you know, yeah, definitely not easy. So if you guys, uh, you know, are getting into streaming and want to go stream longer build up build up definitely right um and so, play a game that you enjoy and play a game you enjoy because you can always yeah. just talk about the game at a moment true. you know yeah very true uh, i think one big thing uh, you know everybody wants to grow obviously and mm -hmm. to you know find more friends build a bigger community but if you do it the wrong way through finding a game that you know might be the one that helps you grow well it's not going to help you grow because you don't actually enjoy it. And when people come to your stream, they're like, man, this guy is not really having a good time. Like, I don't, I don't get it. You know, what's, right. what's happening here. So, right. um, so what, what motivates you today to continue, uh, to continue streaming? Because you're still doing your architect business, right? That's still right. going, going strong. Right. Yep. So, I so do what, that. what drives you still to, uh, to continue um, the streams? I think at this point, um, I enjoy it. So I enjoy, I like playing games. Like today I beat Luigi's Mansion. I already had another nice. game ready. I had Link's Awakening ready to go. Nice. Um, I just like yeah, doing Zelda. it. And, you know, and sometimes it's like the camaraderie of you're beating the game and they're with you. The chat's with you. They're helping you or rooting you on or, or being sassy. And they're like, nah, you know, you can't beat it. <laughs> um, that wasn't your first try, apparently. But it was, guys. It was my first try. Um, uh, I would say the community. Um, just the people that I've met along the way that, um, you know, I pop in, I turn on stream and you have someone fighting for first or trying to get, <laughs> I have early gang as well. Seeing them try to get that is always funny. Yeah. Um, and you know, and I also get people that come maybe a couple times a month and they, you know, they pop in, like they know I'm going to be there. You know what I mean? I'm, that's one thing I'm, I'm, I feel like I should be consistent. Yeah. Um, so, so what's your, what's your stream schedule now? Um, so right now it's Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, uh, one to five and then, uh, Fridays or have been, uh, Island tours for probably the past two years. Um, yeah. At noon. At noon. And then you still go till four or five o'clock. Um, yeah. Just however long the Island tours take. So we usually play bingo. We have, I have a lot of bingo right. fanatics and they come yeah, in. Yeah, I like bet. it. They do. I do a prediction. Will we get bingo? Will we? Will we not? And we see what items we get in the island. And uh, I remember when I first came stream. to your stream, that was something that caught my eye. I was like, "That's yeah. that's really cool." Like, yeah. you, for anybody who doesn't know what Animal Crossing is, like, you can build up, you know, your pretty island, and then you can invite people to come to your island. And what Parrot does is he does this bingo thing. You could explain it better than me, but <laughs> but when I when I saw it, I was like, that's so cool. He like tours the island, goes visits all around the island, yeah. and he has this little bingo card and sees if he can find these little random things, like uh, if there's like a waterfall or if there's like a rainbow, right. like random little right. things. And uh, I was like, man, that's 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 cool, man. That, that's a cool little thing, and and you get to explore like your community's islands that they've worked so hard on, mm -hmm. you know. And um, another thing that. for me, as far as like strong community, is like all the most of the stuff I have made for me is people that I've met either through Instagram or from Twitch. So they make my 
um, some of my emotes and like all nice. the, the merch that I got and, you know, whatever avatars and all that stuff. I like having, you know, it's kind of like shopping local in your city, right? To me, it's like, yeah, yeah. it's like supporting your other online friends that you've met. Cause it's like, oh, you draw stuff. Oh, okay. Well, I stream. You got an island. I'll go tour it. That's really how it started. <laughs> okay. um, I would be like, oh, I'll. I actually, I, it was kind of like cold calling. I would message people on Instagram and be like, hey, <laughs> can I, uh, can I tour your island? I stream on Twitch. And I've met so many people since then just oh. because I'd be like, oh, can I tour your island? And uh, they're like, sure. And now I, I can't get rid of some of them. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. So you did that through Instagram. You would find other people that, that were Animal Crossing players and yep. would just reach out, DM them. That's so cool. I started I like off that. very small, just a few people that I knew would put maybe a hundred something followers. I wasn't, you know, you're not reaching for big dogs with thousands. So I was like, hey, can I, you know, tour it for fun? And they would have a friend like, hey, yeah. you know, like, oh, this guy named Absurd Pair is going to tour my island. And then I get on there and I'm looking at things. And this was before bingo. Um, and I would just, you know, and people also like seeing their stuff on there. And I, I like yeah. showcasing design as someone that works in the field of design. I like showcasing it because everybody you know, you work hard on it. You know what I mean? It's yeah, like when you're streaming true. on Twitch, you want people to come hang out with you because you're working hard on your stream. True. Yeah. No, it's, I, that's what I find is cool. And I remember you were playing Sims also at one point and it's, it's cool to see because you're in that field, you know, you're in the mm -hmm. field of building and design. And I know Animal Crossing isn't as like architectural compared right. to like the Sims, right? But it still has all those design elements and how to build nice, you know a nice layout right so um cool man um so the instagram because uh, i know that you you said that you you grew a lot from that were you posting a lot of animal crossing content um, on instagram at that time or was it just you wow. reaching out to people so when I learned, so I kind of had a, a few friends that were bigger accounts on Instagram um, that kind of got me into it. And I would watch, you know, I learned. You know, it's, it's the best way to know what to do is to see what other people do. They would post a couple photos of their island. I'm like, oh, I got some right. sweet little spots, right? Or, or as I thought, you got some <laughs> crazy talented people. So, you yeah, know, yeah. you post a photo and also it's, um, I mean, really it's networking. So for yeah. the first couple months i would say i probably spent way too much time on instagram but you go you post your stuff you post it on i had to learn how to post on stories i know i sound really <laughs> old but like they work stories work okay. um and i would post but then you also go and you find other people whether it's on just uh like the search the main search or right. friends or someone else's story you see someone you go comment share it um and then after a while, you know, people started realizing I did island tours and that's why I came up with an application because I would, I started out just DMing people and I would okay, send them yeah. a paragraph of this is what I need for your okay. island. <laughs> and then I'm like, I need a, I think someone in my chat said you should do a Google doc. And I was like, that's a pretty good idea or a Google form. And I was like, that's a really good idea. And they just yeah, boop, 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 fill it out, upload photos. And uh, it, it definitely made that a lot better. But uh, yeah, no, I, I've, post photos and then i started sharing so like most of my feed would was sharing other people's islands say what i thought about it and say that i okay. also streamed on twitch you know i'd get a lot of people that say oh you stream on twitch i'm gonna follow you and then they fill out a form and then you know they come by stream either consistently or every every island tour is like the busy day because people know that's what i'm gonna do right yeah yeah and like how come it was only once a week was it like too much did you want it to keep it special instead of doing like constant island tours like did you ever think about going wild with it and being like every stream is island tours let's just uh, go crazy and get i <laughs> thought about that. at one point you know? i had just about 40 applications which was a lot okay and oh. i was like i need to catch up i was like maybe i just do an island tour a week but i'm just like i, I think that'd be too much for me because okay. they the streams take a lot because i also have an overlay that shows like their name their bio their favorite village or their favorite season their name their instagram it's all this, you know so right I'm spending, yeah, yeah you know a couple minutes on each overlay because i got a template and yeah, then yeah. You know, how long does it take to do the tour <sighs> so if we're doing so i learned last week last week we didn't do bingo um but okay. normally with bingo i would say an hour to an hour and a half wow okay that's 40 hours so i like and i you know i like <laughs> looking at each house i like looking at things talking about the design sure um because at the same time 
you know, a lot of some people have met, spent months. So if I were to fly through it in mm. five or ten minutes, that'd be disrespectful. So to me, it's like I'm going to enjoy your island. I'm going to walk right. through it, and uh, I, I enjoy it. I wouldn't do it if I enjoyed it, if I didn't enjoy it. So yeah, yeah, for sure. Were any of the people that that you you met through this and through applying uh, to your to your uh, to the island tours were any of them streamers? A few. Or a few. Not, yeah. yeah, a few. Yep. Yeah. So you know, it, 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 if that's the case, if I don't know them, I'll I'll try to follow them. I'll follow them as well, and I'll give them a shout out as well. Yeah. yeah. The stream. Cool. That's cool. So a lot of then that means a lot of them are just just gamers, just people yep. working on their island through uh, through COVID because it, it came out. I, Animal Crossings or the new one came out right at the beginning of COVID. Yep. Right. If I'm not mistaken, I, I learned mm-hmm. that last week. So, yeah, cool, man. So, um, out of all these streamers and stuff, who, uh, who's your favorite streamer to watch these days? Oh, so... What I watch is completely different <laughs> than um, I mean, what I play. I mean, playing so much Animal Crossing, I mean, it makes sense. <laughs> yeah, so I watched... So, actually, the first streamer I ever saw, he played... I was actually... This is back 2016. This is how long okay. I've watched it Twitch. It's 2016. Nice. Um, but I watched it on YouTube. So I watched videos. Uh, Grand okay. Pooh Bear, and he plays uh, Mario Maker. Okay. And I remember I was on vacation, That's and I was funny. like, oh, I miss Mario Maker, because I love Mario. And uh, I... Person, I found him and I was like, oh, he's pretty, pretty cool streamer. Um, and I just watched him on YouTube and he posted something like every day. Okay. Um, and him and Barbarous King are kind of the two that I kind of watch consistently. Um, and they're, you know, thousands of years, very big. But um, I think I watched them for so long. I kind of knew what a Twitch streamer kind of should be, even though six years ago is ancient in Twitch during these yeah, days, you know? True. But, yeah. Um, yeah that's kind of where that started and now you know I, of course i watch you now you know now <laughs> present day um yeah sure as sure. far as larger streamers <laughs> uh, that people may relate to those those would be uh two yeah cool and uh, there's still the the streamers that you watch to this day yeah actually yeah. well um cool. and i think that shows consistency whether they like your personality or whether it's the games if you yeah, yeah. if you really want to do it just be consistent and you know um, I said earlier, play games that you enjoy. We yeah. also need to play games that chat enjoys that you also, enjoy. you know, so like I do the Island tours. I still enjoy them, but I right. know people know every Friday I'm, I'm doing Island tours. They can play some bingo. They can see some inspiration. I have so many people that say, oh, I love playing, watching you tour because I get ideas. Mm. Yeah, true. Because when you get to see other people's uh, islands, yeah. Mm-hmm. And it's not just like an Instagram post where it's like, oh, look at this little scene I, I did. Yeah. Yeah. It's like the whole island, everything, mm-hmm. right? Yep. Um, right? Is there an island that really has stuck with you? I would, after... I would get called out so quick. I've <laughs> toured over 230-something. So. Oh, my God. Um, but I would say but not what particular island stood out. I think just the... When you you can tell when someone puts a, so much effort into it and they come up with unique ideas, I think what stands out just that you know they uh, they went above and beyond for for yeah. design and you can tell they're so proud of it. And when people in chat are like, "I love this," and you get to see them so happy, and then they message me after I message them saying they had a blast. That to me is a success. <laughs> if the yeah, if they true. felt like oh you know that was that was a good time that that means the most to me. So cool, I like that. I like that. And they're with you, right? They're like in in the island, like walking around with you. So not all the time. Sometimes it's what they call a dream address where I'll walk around. You, know, you go okay. to bed and you walk around the other time. They will be there and then they'll hit me with a net or they'll make <laughs> me sit on the golden toilet because that's the meme. You know, I got to okay. have a golden toilet. <laughs> and are you in like a discord call with them or is it just? Um, nope. Normally it's just me talking because okay. some people could be nervous, but I've done interviews sure. in the past where I'll talk okay. with a designer. Okay. That's cool. Has there anybody, have you met anyone that's like also in the design industry, in the design space that's like pro? I've I've had um, like engineers. I've done like uh, different types of designers. I mean, there's so many at this point, but, uh, and I've had other people that uh, one guy, he he works uh, at the, like the San Diego Zoo. Okay, that's cool. He, he's like not a marine biologist, but like a, some type of thing where he deals with the fish. Or he like runs a part of the department, and he loves okay. sunfish. So his island was full of sunfish, and he related that to the island. I thought that was a really cool connection. 
That's cool. Yeah, or to me, sure. it's like, you know, I I stream. Here's my. I I haven't finished an island. Just to show how really <laughs> slow I am. But uh, do you have a parrot on your island? Mm, I have parrot designs. They don't have a character, okay. but they have okay. uh, like little stamps you put everywhere. But you can't have like a pet parrot in the game in a little birdcage. No, cage. I, I you think I would have a little more pull with Nintendo? They would give yeah. me a character. I had someone draw me one. I had someone okay. draw a, a parrot <laughs> villager for me. That, That's that, cool. That was fun. Cool. I like that. Um, so almost two years streaming. Um, how many how many uh followers are you at right now? Uh, on Twitch, uh, it says seventeen hundred, but who knows the exact number? Yeah, yeah, it's somewhere. It's somewhere. <laughs> okay, so a lot of the growth. What other factors have contributed? To your success so a lot of instagram you said is there any other things that you've been doing that you think that really helped uh, um you know bring bring up the viewership and get you some followers um i mean i've done a couple little giveaways for like my merch and stuff um i think biggest thing for me for growth was definitely like i grew through instagram a lot of people i met were through instagram and also just being consistent mm -hmm. um and posting when i go live having an active discord uh, and I do like little discord competitions where people, they battle it out for a month. Whoever wins gets merch prizes. That's um, cool. I think that battle helped. it out? Yeah. So, and I think also it's about just kind of build a little bit of camaraderie. Mm, you know, yeah. Because like, you know, at the end of the day, you're watching someone on Twitch, but if you can pop into my, hey, Parrot, or hey, Peach, you can also see, oh, you know, there's, there's so, so and so that I know I can say hi to them. That makes them feel more welcome. So I think yeah, having sure. your community you know, tell them, hey, welcome people in, you know, make them feel yeah. welcome because I've popped in so many streams and it's like nobody talks to you. And I know sometimes there's like, you know, a lot of times they're like tight, you know, but yeah. um, I think just being welcoming helps because it makes Definitely. people want to come back. Definitely. I agree with that. It's like uh, someone explained that Twitch stream is kind of like going to uh, going to like a backyard barbecue party, yes. like an open invite party you know right. and i think the context was about leaving i think that they were saying like you know twitch viewers you guys don't have to say like bye i have to go i'm going to go watch another person's stream or i think that was the original context yeah. you know and they were kind of saying like it's just like a backyard barbecue you know when the conversation kind of fiddles out you're just like all right i'm gonna go grab a drink or i'm just gonna, you just walk away you know type right. of thing you just kind of leave um but i think in this case it's it's like you know flip the other way it's when people come in, it's like, hey, welcome in. You know, how's it going? Right. Yeah. And come and join this conversation that we're having. Yeah, welcome you know? in. Here's a hot dog, hamburger. Yeah, know? exactly. Exactly. Um, so what, because you said something about like doing competitions in Discord. Like what would you do? Are they like art competitions since a lot of your kids um, like uh, designing? So I've done it two years now because I've been two years. It's a, it's a lot. It's a crap ton of work. I, I don't know if I would recommend it to a new streamer. Yeah. Um, but, uh, you know, they have their teams and like uh, they voted on their logo. They, each team had made a logo. Like this past year, we had Team Ram and Team Boba and they both drew their own logo. Cool. Um, and then we most of mine this year, past year, just because it was very uh, Animal Crossing centric. It was all anim mostly, I think, just about all Animal Crossing. So it was like they did a commercial, 30 second commercial, um, which is on my YouTube. Um, I can't remember. Oh, we did a couple. Uh, I had a few uh, viewers make obstacle courses. Did races. So it was like point. That's cool. And then every time they came in the stream, they got points. Every If they did a sub, they got points. If they did bits, they got uh, points. All Everything added to points. Uh, it was okay. a crap ton of work, but <clears throat> it was fun. And uh, people get competitive. Yeah. yeah. Learn. Um, but I think that definitely made a lot of people friends. Yeah, for sure. I, I've also heard that your Mario Kart community is extremely oh, competitive. We are very sweaty. <laughs> um, I'm like cheering when I'm in the top three. It's because very sweaty. Um, but uh, no, it, it, it's fun. You know, it's, I think it's very important to have community days as well. Like I'm doing yeah. uh, Dead by Daylight. I got to be able to beat you, you know, when you, if you're not lurking in there. Um, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I just started that. But DBD is fun. If you, if you have chat to play with you for games that you're unsure about, like mm. whether it's Mario Kart or uh dead by daylight it makes it more fun because you're doing it together they're they're talking trash to you, you're talking trash and uh yeah yeah how long would you say is a good time frame for you know a newer streamer 
Like, at what point would they start the community games, do you think? You know, like, do you just... If That's you have, a like, really a couple good question. Of, you know? Um, I mean, if, you're, if you have nobody, but if you have, like, a couple friends that you know in real life off stream and they can just play with you so it looks like you're playing with some people, that would help, like, boost right. your numbers. Um, For sure. But I've also seen people where it's like, you know, I'm just playing and they're by themselves and it could work out if you have the personality for it. But mm -hmm. um, I would just say whatever fits you. You know what I mean? Because like yeah. for me, when I first started, I had people that watched me, but I don't think any of them had Mario Kart. Okay. Um, but I don't even think I played a community game until maybe about a month or so. But before that, I had a few friends that were also small streamers. We would play games together, whether it was Super Mario World or uh, at back in the day, Ninjala, which was like a similar to Splatoon. So I would play with actually I played actually. No, I totally forgot about that. Ninjala. I used to do have a, a game. And Jala, I played every Monday. Okay. And I would play with chat. They would come in and they would kick my butt every damn time. <laughs> but it was about them joining and having a fun chat. And that kind of helped For sure. build the community as well, you know? Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, if you find a really niche game, because that was a very niche niche game. Yeah. Um, similar to Animal Crossing, you know, you have everybody playing uh Florent or uh, Fortnite or whatever. But if you if you like a game yeah. that doesn't have as many viewers, whether it's Breath of the Wild or whatever um you, you there's less people watching it but there's mm -hmm. also less competition true true yeah that's true yeah. and you know as i think as a new streamer too like the goal isn't like a thousand viewers <laughs> right like when you're just starting out you know honestly the, the, the goal is three oh, goal yeah. is three for <laughs> true. affiliate true. which really i can't i mean this is like going a little off topic so i apologize but no, i no. think i kind of wish twitch had different levels so when all we have is affiliate and partner. I wish there was like steps. You know what right. I mean? Like affiliate plus, you're at 20 average viewers. So you have still have things to strive for because really between affiliate and partner, it can yeah. feel impossible. Right? True. That's very true. Yeah. And it seems like it's doable when you when you hit affiliate, you know, right. and then you're starting to grow, you know, your viewership. Right. And now you're you're past the three, four, five viewers, you're in the ten to fifteen to twenty, you're like, okay, hey, I'm growing, I'm growing. Um, but then then getting to seventy five eventually you're like, right. you know, <laughs> it's it's tough one. Right. I agree with that. There's been a lot of uh there's been a lot of talk lately about that. Uh, not on the Twitch side, but in the Twitter Twitch right. streamer side of right. people, people saying, talking about streaming. Yeah. Yeah, saying that that could be a cool thing, you know. I know that Twitch does have like the uh, achievements, like how many hours total you've streamed or how many times you've raided other streamers, uh, which are fun little like achievements. But yeah, it's not really um, something to strive for, like you said. Yeah, it's right. true. Um, I mean, what what tip would you have for, you know, new a new streamer? looking to grow looking to you know well, they say they got everything set up they got their about section they got a they got a, a consistent schedule they they know their games um i would say work on keeping the conversation going because for me that was the hardest part it still kind of can mm. be you know if chat gets quiet it happens to all of us yeah yeah uh, nothing wrong with that just you know like i said like sometimes just have a little outline have five to ten things you want to talk about um and you know yeah. know that you can talk about them right mm -hmm. like don't, don't put a topic down where you have like i have no clue what to say but you don't want to <laughs> you know marine biology yep i like whales <laughs> and keep going like no you know talk about the mario I like movies. turtles mario, yeah, i like turtles <laughs> you know if you talk you know recent things the mario movie is mario's butt really flat make that your stream title yeah yeah you know what i mean um like i i, I yeah also have an engaging a uh, stream title so for me and my chat knows this. I'm gonna show you my little. I, a family member gave me this, but I got a little dad jokes gum. Oh, and uh, <laughs> I'm known for my dad joke, so that's like a redemption for me. Where they'll redeem a dad joke, and no matter how good the joke is, because they're pretty darn good, they'll always <laughs> boo me because that's part of the meta. Oh, but uh, yeah, dad joke. I, yeah, just kind of create, you, and you'll figure it out as you go. Figure mm -hmm. out your your brand, right? Yeah. I uh, like for yeah. me, you know, like the vibe sessions. Yep. I came up with that probably about 15, 20 followers in right around there where I got an idea from someone saying you should celebrate. And you're just yeah. certain start, starting out. You should celebrate. And I was like, I'm going to go all out. I'm going to, you know, blast Definitely. music or whatever and dance a little bit and 
put yeah. some dancing parrots because uh, <laughs> unintentionally there's the the party parrot you know that fits yeah. perfect with my theme true um but i think you know fit your theme i've seen people that are kind of what's the word kind of minimalistic where they're kind of quiet don't really talk much they talk a little bit about the game and they do well so i think you yeah. have to kind of figure out works best for you and also stand out yeah for sure i agree with that um i i think it has to be it has to it has to be like your natural authentic self in a way you know if uh if you're quiet i i, I don't want to say introverted but if you're quiet and then you're trying to be a hype man or hype person, I don't know if it'll really work, you know? Right. Um, but yeah, you know, that, that kind of thing. So I agree. I agree with that. Um, but you did say earlier that you are introverted, but, and uh, what I wanted to say, which what I always say to the introverts that I talk to that are streamers, I always say that the most successful content creators, especially YouTubers are introverts because right. you're not talking to a person, you know, you're talking to a camera, right. you're talking to True. yourself, you're talking about the thing True. that you love so much, right. you know? Uh, which introvert doesn't necessarily mean that like you're quiet, you know, right. It just means that, you know, your, your social battery works in a different way, you know, no, that's exactly so, uh, Are, would you say you're, you're extrovert then? Um, I feel like I used to be more extroverted mm -hmm. and, uh, and I've slowly, as I got older, I slowly went to more, uh, introverted, uh, mm. I, you know, I, I'm more of a, I'm more of a homebody, you know, I like, uh, I like hanging at home. I like doing my things and taking care of my stuff, you know, and, and I like to stream and enjoy and just game with, with friends mm -hmm. and stuff. I don't, I right. don't need to be out and going to the, to the restaurants and out to the parties and, and all that right. stuff. It's, it's too much. It's too I mean, much, with DoorDash, you can get all the food from the restaurants now, you know? Yeah, exactly. You know, not, not I a don't sponsor. mind. <laughs> no not sponsored <laughs> but you know i don't mind going for a nice little drive you know some i like driving so like go for a nice little yeah, drive that's pick we'll up do. the food come back home you know it's get out yeah, of the house that's me but let's go for a drive i'll get a car wash get some gas and yeah uh, i'll get pick up the food and head back yeah exactly you know because i'm i feel like i'm more of a homebody especially after the whole pandemic or, and during right. the pandemic you know it's like hey, i'm always home like let's get out so it's a nice way to to break it up a little bit um have you ever felt like burnt out with um like streaming and stuff and like um, the content creation process like you said like you did over 230 islands like do you right. ever feel like you were um getting too much with it so i guess for me even when i when i first started doing island tours I actually was only streaming animal crossing maybe one maybe two days a week. so at that mm. point i was already burnt out of animal crossing after playing it all summer 2020 2021 yeah. i was like oh, i played a little bit um i think i go through waves like right now i'm kind of in a dip like i'm i'm i need to sit back i need to do a little kumbaya like think about <laughs> uh, you know channel points and i, I want to redo yeah. things i want to redo things and sometimes it just takes a while just to think and to, like take a step back yeah for um sure. so i think i get burned out i don't know you know, every, every, every few months with certain things. And like right now, I'm not playing Animal Crossing other than Island Tour. So I keep right. that going because I feel like that's a consistent thing. It's not like I'm booting up the game, but I'm seeing other people's island. Right. Right. Yeah. Because like you uh, said, you're playing uh, Luigi's Mansion now. And now yeah. Just beat uh, Luigi's Mansion Link. and Link's Awakening. And I love puzzle games. Um, okay. Yeah. I, that, that's, I, I, love, I love Zelda Breath of the Wild. That stuff stuff's too. So. Yeah. Uh, yeah, my, and I think that's part game. of it. Like, it may stunt your growth. Some people would say, like, I'm going to start doing more variety. But at least the ones that are watching you, they're going to enjoy that you're enjoying the game. And sometimes True. I've had people, I play a game. There's one little $5 game I got on the Switch, Townscaper. I had, okay. like, five or six people buy it because I used it. No, and I, I had the guy retweet my tweet, the guy who made the game, just because I was like, this is an amazing game. And it's just a cute little boop, 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 boop. You literally press a button and a building gets created. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. I've seen and, that. Uh, it's it's like ASMR for for streaming. I would say because it's just it's just literally analog stick and press A or B. That's it. <laughs> and I was ASMR. and I think I was the only one streaming it for like the couple weeks I was playing it. And I okay. had people, I had people, I had people come find me. They're like, I saw you're playing this game, and I'm like, I'm the only one. So no way. That's yeah. amazing. Yeah, yeah. I'm. I mean, everybody always talks about like play. You know 
if you're playing a game with lower viewers than uh, like we talked about earlier, then uh, you have less competition, right? But what if there's zero viewers? I mean, I guess, uh, like you said, you can still find <laughs> that, some people. That was my you know? only time I've ever done that. <laughs> so like with that game, I think I think I gained a couple, but. Yeah, zero that might be a little too much in the 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 the, the dead end of, yeah. of twitch but uh yeah. but you know what <clears throat> literally if anybody searches up that game if you're playing it for a couple of days you mm -hmm. are the only person so true i don't really have much choice yeah <laughs> um someone uh someone i know another streamer um i saw them I think it's the the game that you're saying, Townscaper. Uh, they had I don't know if it was through uh, subscriptions or if it was through like a channel point thing, mm -hmm. but it was a way for the community to have their own little like house. Because the Townscaper, the way it works, it's like you know, it's like an island in the middle of like the water, and then like you build yeah. houses and you, you can build, build like super up. tall, yeah. right? Right. Okay, yeah. So he would do it based off of I think channel points or anytime somebody would subscribe. Then right. he would add like a couple of a couple of units to that person's building. Ah. So it was like a visual representation of you know the months that they've been subscribed. That, or whatever. That's a pretty damn good idea. Good yeah, idea. you could use it. Can well, use I it? did um, <laughs> when I was playing Sims, create your own sim, and I think I had like sixteen redemptions of create my sim. So I had like oh my god, I had like I had like I think I ended up having three houses. No, no, two houses, two houses. Okay, um, but uh. No, I was making a third house. Oh god, um, for all these people. Yeah, I know. It, it's a lot of work. I should <laughs> I I think I had to raise the price after the first day. I'm like, this is you're going through doing personality, the how they look, you know, that's oh, where god, the yeah. my meme, the fingernail lady came from and hips, you know, all that's all the love stuff. Um <laughs> but uh, yeah, but even just character customization, just the way that somebody yeah. looks, you know, it's that could take hours, yeah. you yeah. know. <laughs> then did you do it like did you let them they would send me a photo. Decide? Okay, really? Yep. And was it them or was it like, oh, I want you to do like, I don't know, Jennifer Lopez it was or close. something? Close. I'm I, I, I'm an architect. I'm not a you know uh, visual. No, yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm not a makeup artist. I'll say yeah, that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that's cool though. Uh, I think that it's fun to have different type of channel point um, things to to engage yes. the community. You know, like the. Um, like the townskeeper thing or like you said with right. the with the sims you for know me when my first when i celebrated 500 followers i came up with uh, the banana i have to say banana after every other word oh my god for it started out as 30 minutes jeez then i shrunk it down to 20 minutes right now it's just five minutes called micro nanner oh um, god but, uh, that's still long every other word is banana every every banana other banana word banana is banana 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 Oh Even banana. banana. That's a good like uh, <laughs> mental, you know, tongue twister. To I, keep actually, you, uh, I got keep it. You young. <laughs> I got it from back when I was a, I was a resident assistant RA in college. We get free room and board. It okay. was part of our training. Like one of the things we did, we were doing a training. I can't remember exactly what it was. But we were in college. We were like in a forest, and we had to make our way across, um, one side to another. So okay. there was like. 10 people on each side and then it was like you can only step on like certain logs or rocks we had to it was kind of like chess but also okay. like a, a really cool puzzle we had to like okay you have to go here to move there to get them across so we had to have all 10 people on the other side by the end of it okay. and we had one guy who was talking a lot and they were like all right for five minutes you can only say banana after every other word oh my god and he was phenomenal at it like i'm cool. all right he just was just like every other word banana oh. and everybody was just like wait we had to, we all stopped and we're like <laughs> how are you so good at saying this <laughs> yeah and that was probably a good uh probably a good 14 years ago that happened and i thought of that and i was like god damn it would be painful but let me do yeah. it it's a twitch <laughs> channel Crazy. redemption Crazy that you did it for, even thought about doing it for 30 minutes, man. Holy. Well, it was a sub it was a sub goal originally. And then I made it 20,000 points and I'm like, oh, 20,000. Yeah. That's a lot of points. <laughs> Tell me why it could happen like every week to me. And I'm just like, oh, no, oh, no. It really could. People have enough points. They could happen every day. <laughs> yeah. That's um, up. Cal just you, you, you hush it. You hush it. I see. Sorry. <laughs> sorry. I, I know I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> Cal just how long ago, Ferret? 
Um, yeah, well, this is also an advice for people if you're older. I mean, I'm ancient for streaming. You know, <laughs> early 30s, that's ancient. Yeah, I may as well be retired. Right? True. Um, but to me, I'm ancient with there you, is a market for everybody. Because people, some people get on, they're like, I don't want to watch. An yeah, I don't want to watch the kiddies. A 20 year old. I want to watch someone that's similar in age. And I've, I've definitely yeah. had that. I've definitely had that people that watch that at an older, younger, similar age. Mm -hmm. um, you know, that's, this is what it is. People like different things. That's definitely. what you got to learn. And when you're a streamer, you got to realize not everybody's going to like you. Yeah. Um, that's something. It's hard, right? I'm a people yeah. pleaser. I'm like, oh, I got to make everybody happy. You know, doing the island tours. Yeah. And doing everything. And then this mm -hmm. is like, sometimes you're like, oh, I wonder why they don't. Or they would say, oh, Parrot, thank you so much for introducing me to Twitch. I found so many streamers that I love watching. And I'm like, I haven't <laughs> seen you in months. <laughs> but then I'm like, you know what? At the end of the day, I just wanted to tour their island and get to know them a little bit. Right. If they move on, I can't be upset with that. You know what I mean? Because that's, that's, that's the way of life. No, that's for sure. You know, um, I think I tweeted the other night um, that, you know, you could be the sweetest. I think it was, the, you could be the sweetest peach on the peach tree but not everybody's gonna like peaches you know exactly so um, i really wish i bought a peach i was at the store yesterday i should have bought a peach <laughs> to have to surprise you that would have been cool not in season anymore anyways i'm happy you didn't because then next time i would have had to buy a parrot and then that would have been <laughs> that would have been too that would have been too much <laughs> you get a stuffed parrot like me so actually oh, yeah. so behind me my shelf i would say probably 90 percent of it is gifts from chat Oh my god, nice. The first gift I got was a crochet parrot. Someone I met on Instagram. After no about way. a month, she goes, Parrot, you've been so nice. I want to crochet <laughs> a parrot and send it to you. And I was like, what? So at this That's point, so sweet. I had to get a P.O. box. Right. Right? That's another tip for you guys. If you, if you start getting a lot of people, get a P.O. box because it protects where you live, obviously. Yeah. Um, and they can send you stuff. You know? And I go there, and, they, and, you know, and they're looking at me like, you picking up? I'm like, yeah. And they go, absurd parrot and i'm like yeah that's me <laughs> or my chat they send and type whatever name they want oh my parrot, god parrot and mr parrot I'm like, oh my god <laughs> oh god that's funny yeah <laughs> um speaking of p.o boxes i had a i had a whole nightmare situation with p.o boxes in canada really? we have like the federal it's called canada post it's like the federal post agency um and i went there to go because i was like canada post i'm gonna go get a p.o box and i go get a p.o mm -hmm. box from them and you know little do i realize once i paid up everything they're like oh well you can't really receive any packages if the if the courier is not going to send it through canada post i'm like I don't Ooh. know who the hell the courier is going to be. Like, I might get yeah. packages from, from people in the community, or if I right. work with a brand, they might be from, like, I don't know, mm -hmm. a different country, yeah, China. Yeah, you don't get, you don't who, get to pick who knows? that. You know, I don't know if they're going to use Canada Post, you know? Like, they're yeah. going to use FedEx, UPS, like, all, like, <laughs> yeah. the big, big guys, you know? DHL, that's a little bigger in Europe. So. Yeah, DHL, uh, whatever, right? So I had to like go to them. I had to call a head office, tell them uh -huh. that I got lied to. <laughs> yeah, you're like, listen there. here, I'm the peach. Yeah, okay. bro, bro. You know, <laughs> no, I went to the counter. I'm like, look, I don't know who I'm going to get stuff from. I don't know what size the package is going to be. Can you handle this? And they're like, yep, yeah, no problem. And then after that, they're like, no, I spoke to somebody else, you know? And they're like, no, that whatever that guy said is not true. So <laughs> I had to end up going to a UPS store. And, uh, and what was cool about the UPS store was that, like, the P.O. box isn't actually a P.O. box. Like, you don't go there with, like, a key and there's, like, a little box with, like, a different oh. size. It's like, it's, like a, it's like a receiving center. So any size package you want, they'll take it. And you don't have to call your account, like, P.O. box. Your address doesn't have to be called P.O. Box. So if you want to pretend that you have like a, a unit and like, like your business, you could be unit number 401 or suite number or apartment number mm -hmm. or whatever, you know? So that's, right. uh, I mean, doesn't really apply for streamers. Everybody wants to be like more of a P.O. Box, but yeah. But for a business starting out and that wants to open a P.O. Box or, or get a new address and not be from home, that's a good way right. to do it too, you know? Um yeah cool so all that stuff behind you is all from uh all gifts from chat and stuff are you currently selling a um a stuffed parrot on your merch site so i've had so many dms about can you get a stuffed parrot 
And I had the Knicks Please. that months and months ago because oh, I need man. a minimum rec- minimum order of 300. Now, oh God. Okay. three people come flocking to me and say, Parrot, I want an absurd Parrot. I already got the design ready. We could do it, but I can't right. afford three. So. Yeah, yeah. But right now, just uh... the merch. Just the merch behind me. Merch behind my head. Love it. Um, Is and that the new I design? Like new design. Brand new design uh, made from uh, Gray from Trippy Land on Instagram. And uh, she she does a phenomenal job. Like I said, I... Uh, I try to rely on, and, and, and also uh, I'm waiting on something else to come in from another designer. She made one, a uh, garbage banana, which is from the, gar- the banana uh, channel point redemption. Okay. Um, she, I, I have, I have multiple things. So I have, I usually, so this year I did new stuff for summer and then out for fall and winter. So probably maybe like twice a year thing. It also makes mm-hmm. it a little more special. Like, Oh, I got this item and you can't sell like the shirt I'm wearing. You can't buy this one anymore. You can't buy this. It's, it's gone. Cool. Um, but now yeah. if you want the winter merch you can right so i think i think that's a good way to do it and it's a fun way to do it because True. it can get stale even if mm-hmm. you got a couple people buying it like to yeah. me it's not like, you know i'm paying the, the designers to make the stuff it's not as much about making the money because i try to mark it down as little as possible mm-hmm. i like people repping it because think about this yeah someone's wearing a absurd parrot a the peach shirt hey what's True. that oh it's a stream where i watch free it's literally free 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 sponsorship free, free yeah. marketing yeah. Yeah, and um, and you know, having a good design for it, you know, I think that's something you don't see a lot of streamers talk about or push. And you know, if they if they want to be a part of the community, if they feel a part of your community, they're going to want to support you. Whether sure. it's a stick, I got stickers. You know, I've seen people they put stickers on their fridge. Yeah, I yeah. think that, and I think that's a fun way to do it. Cool. When do you think that uh, you know, uh, for a streamer that's that's coming up doesn't have merch, when do you think it's a good time to uh to create a merch shop? How how long did you when did you create yours? So mine. So I'll I'll tell you a little bit of the story of the merch. So when I first started, um, I believe because I'm still I used to, I, I haven't switched yet to OBS. Don't don't chastise me. Oh man! Uh, but we Streamlabs has like that. a built-in merch. <laughs> but I was like, oh, you know what? I'm gonna go. I researched. If you, I, you guys are gonna learn anything about me is that before I do anything, I'm like, let me give it a good old goog. Right? I'm let me yeah. let me see. Who so and so did see some searches, and there's so <clears throat> many people that talk about it. Mm-hmm. So I found Spring Tea or Teespring, whatever it's mm, called. Yeah, yeah. And I thought they had some decent quality stuff. I'm like, okay, you can literally make anything. They let okay. you just cups, mugs, shirts, hoodies, pants, everything. So I was like, oh, okay. sweet. And then I'm not down in their stuff because they have some great stuff. I, one of the mugs I got, phenomenal. But some of the things, uh, and I got messages from, from my viewers oh my shirt is kind of falling apart so i was like okay Ooh. so i stopped selling it immediately okay. well pretty quickly i told them only buy certain things i was like you know this thing's good that's good whatever um then i moved to a new one um what i use now fourth wall and you had to be i had to be referred I actually had to interview with them at at one point really okay and i talked to them and actually i was <laughs> glad i did because i asked them about stuff and i was like okay right now i have an issue where certain clothing items fall apart and mm-hmm. if people are spending money on me and on your brand i want you to have stuff that's going to last more than two washes yes yeah, and they said yep nope we do a new thing and let me tell you the shirt i'm wearing i've washed uh multiple times and the hoodie i just washed it yesterday because i just got it no no issues nothing wrong with the print and i no. i i love it and i stand by and behind their stuff um, nice and this is not answering your question for when they should get into it so i'm gonna go into that now but i would say don't spend too much money on anything literally get 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 your logo your overlays um and kind of try to do as much as you can by yourself like i do my overlays mm. myself um and then okay if you have a logo yeah put it on a mug start small people right. love mugs people love hats people love stickers start with that stuff maybe a t-shirt True. Um, but I would keep it minimal four or five items at that probably be depending on your growth. If you're at one month in and you're 30 viewers, Hey, you know what? Right. Do it. But yeah. if you know, if you're, if you're kind of doing it part time and you got four or five people and you're a couple months and you know, just wait a little bit, you know, and you also, you're, tr- you might not like your logo, right? Like, Oh, I'm going to change it. So I would yeah. say, figure out what you're doing because you're going to spend money on whether it's the design. Um, if you have the URL, you're going to have to pay to have that. True. Yeah. Um, and also you're going to want to buy your own stuff. So make sure you're financially, you can, people love seeing it. Take some photos. Like I did it. 
photos. I had a few people model stuff for me, right? Cool. So I would say, here you go, send it. I'm going to send it to you. Put a shirt on, model it, mugs, all that stuff. And all that's on my Instagram, guys, and under my merch section. You can scroll through and see all the people that have posted. Merch. That's cool. And I think that's a good way to market it as well. I love that. So, yeah, for sure. And get the community to be, you know, feel a little bit more uh, part of it. I love that. Yeah. I'm taking notes. I'm taking notes uh, for myself. <laughs> hey, cool, you know, it, it, like I said, at the end of the day, it's not about I'm going to it's similar to streaming. You're not going to you're going you're not going to be rich day one. If, no, if anything, no. you should just want to be making friends and definitely or making making connections. And with the merch, it's like, you know what? They could rep some of it. And I think that's the coolest thing that people are like, I got a I got a, a parrot mug to me. That yeah. is like that warms my heart. because it's like, damn, that's pretty definitely like, for sure. Kind of like this. This fancy mug right here, guys, you know, Love with it. the red, the red interior, the absurd parrot, wow. the new winter brand right now. Sheesh. And where do we get that again? Is that at absurdparrot.com? Yes. Absurdparrot.com. <laughs> easy, easy, man. Cool, <laughs> dude. Um, I love it, man. What I want to ask like one last question that I think, um, I think that some streamers kind of maybe miss, miss, um, miss the part with, but like what i think that okay hold on guys i want to pre preface it uh so that it makes sense but i think we're always on the grind we're always working we're always trying to just grow 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 okay you know we hit let's say 500 followers we hit a thousand followers go next you know more content more clips share more do more 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 right like every down Every minute that's downtime, it's like work on the stream, work on the community, go in the Discord, go here, go there, right? What do you do for yourself to kind of have that downtime and to reward yourself for the hard work that you've done? You know, what, what, like when you set goals for yourself and you hit them, like, do you do something to say like, you know what, we did this as a community or, or whatever it is, and, and I'm going to take some time to celebrate and recognize that? Yeah, so uh, a few things. And I'll just I'll try to I'll try to keep it brief. Uh, you guys know I celebrate every every sub, every follow. Um, right. When I celebrated fifty followers, there was probably like three or four of us in chat. We went wild. We I had a whole I had a whole. So <laughs> I'll say as far as like stream goals, like fifty, a uh, hundred, two fifty, five hundred. Like it was a sh I had a screen that said that many followers, and it was nice. it was pretty epic. So as far as stream goes, <laughs> I like to I like to celebrate with chat. So whether it's my one year, two year anniversary, you know, I have stuff planned. Mm -hmm. Um, and I think you know having it as an event. Okay, today I think you. So usually for my like for my two year, I'm not sure what I'm going to do yet. But last year, my one year anniversary, I had chat roast me. They all recorded roasts. <laughs> um, and we did community games, twelve nice. hours of it. Oh, nice. And I was like, this is for you guys because you're amazing. I think I, I have an amazing community and I'm very thankful for them. Um, and then as far as personal, away from it, yeah, like, okay, how am I going to celebrate? One thing I did was when I was at the point where I, uh, I was like, if I get to 20 average viewers, not to count, I don't really see an importance on view count until you kind of reach partner. But um, mm -hmm. I was like, if I, re if I could reach 20 at one point, even if it goes back down, I'm buying a new mic, which is what I'm using. Nice. And I think that you know, this is exponentially increased my quality of stream. I'm sure you can say it with yours as well. Yeah. People, you know, it's, it's, uh, it sounds better, right? It, just, sure. it sounds better. There's no echoing. You can't hear the dogs barking next door. Right. You know, it, it's, it's, it, that's what it is. Um, yeah. and as far as off stream, usually, uh, that's the, the better half. She'll, uh, so in the past, she's like gotten me like a dessert or bought we've done dinner like you know congrats you did a good job and i think that's a good yeah, it's yeah. important to do to tell yourself Definitely. hey you know every step is important and uh, you can't you can't look past it because then if you keep looking at the destination you're not enjoying the journey i love that i love that it's true it's true maybe maybe that's something that we should uh you know set up Maybe that's something that we should do for other streamers is come up with some sort of, like you said earlier at the beginning of our call, you know, you said we, we need something like affiliate plus, you right. know, maybe that's something that we could, uh, we could look at, you know, and say, look guys, s s these are the, some milestones that you guys should be reaching for when you hit them, 
you know this is this is you should celebrate this, this is huge you know if you hit right. 10 average viewers if you hit 100 mm -hmm. followers 500 followers or whatever right. right all the little milestones that um it's like yeah you got to celebrate this man you worked hard you built this it's not easy right. you know right. and it's not like um like these people especially with twitch streaming man it's it it is not a way like the discoverability on twitch everybody knows this we can talk about it for forever that there's there's very little discoverability right so when you do get a twitch follower it's like it's it's them choosing to follow you and to support yeah. your stream right right so it's something to be celebrated for sure i think that we need to uh to do exactly like uh like what you're doing and, and celebrate every once in a while for sure right for sure yeah. Good stuff, man. Is there any uh, last last points that you want to uh, to cover? Anything you want to say to to some streamers out there? Ask me anything. Tell me anything. <laughs> I would and say my we'll, uh... my my streaming journey has has been to. I would say it's been all right, but to others looking out on the outside, they'd be like, "Oh, you've done a great." I've had people tell you, "Oh, if you're doing this as a hobby." You've done phenomenal. And to me, it's just like, well, you know, I could always do better. That's just how I think. Mm. Um, but just, uh, you know, know that everybody's different. Everybody grows different. You can start the same day as somebody else. And one of you could be at 20 followers. The other one could be at 100. And you can't. True. You can't uh, compare yourself to others. As someone who compares himself all the time, is trying to get out of it. <laughs> yep, Don't compare yourself here. to others same because here. everybody's different. <laughs> and yeah. um you know, it's also a part of luck. Well, some of it's luck, but you know, yeah, if you keep working true. at it, no matter what it is, you'll you'll see growth. I'll yeah. say that. Definitely, definitely. Um, you know, I think that I just want to let chat know that we're gonna open up to Q and A. So if you guys have any questions, please type them in chat, and uh, I'll uh, I'll end on this note. Um, uh, there's a big streamer, the biggest streamer, one of the biggest streamers on Twitch, I should say. <laughs> uh, it wasn't me who said this, but he said every. You know, if, if, if you, you got to keep putting your name in the hat every single day, you put your name in the hat because if you don't put your name in the hat, then, you know, it's like, how will your name be take chosen out of the hat if you don't put your name in the hat? So it's like, you know, it's, it, 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 I don't know. I think the guy was a little bit, uh, you know, wild in on that stream. But mm -hmm. the point is, if you guys don't show up every day, if you guys don't put in the work and do one thing you know every day or every week to increase the stream improve the stream stick with the consistency or try new things whatever it is um like you said there is a little bit of luck involved for sure for sure right uh, and i think one thing about the journey for the comparison because since both of us you know are, are struggling with that i think that this will help some people out there is if you want to compare you can't you literally can't because unless you know the the entire history of that other person there's no way to compare because even if you start on the same day you have no idea what that person's past is maybe they were a youtuber on a whole other channel maybe they worked for worked for a youtuber maybe they were an editor for a streamer and they learned all the ins and outs like who knows you know you have no idea what their their backstory is and all the stuff they learned like for me i was on instagram i created like two or three instagram accounts i tried to become a instagrammer uh in the past you know i had a youtube channel before and uh, I was doing like vlogs and, and random stuff nobody knows about. It. I'll never show those videos because it's so cringe, you know. But I learned a lot. I learned how mm -hmm. to edit and I learned how to, you know, right. you know, create friendships and, and create networks and, and talk to companies and brands and stuff like that, right? So um, just because it looks like it's day one for some people, might not be day one for them. You know, it might be day 10,000. So uh, hopefully that helps some of you guys out there that are looking at other people and uh, and then and then looking <laughs> down at yourself. Just if you can do better than you who you were yesterday, I think that that's the only person you can compare yourself is uh, is to yourself. You know, yep. who you were yesterday. Well said. Cool, man. Um, let's uh, let's take a look at chat and see if there's any questions in the chat that we can uh, answer. If you guys have questions for Parrot, if you have questions for me, we'd love to. Uh, to chat if you if you have a little bit more time uh we'll take a couple of questions all right um we got one question in chat from cool panda if you could collaborate with anyone in the content creation space who would it be and why the hmm. peach um <laughs> <laughs> thank you thank you Man. we already did that i won't and i won't joke i'll try to think of a real 
for real. I mean, I mean, the guys that I, I've I've watched. I mean, I would think it'd be cool to like collab with someone that I've watched for years. Like I said, Grand Pooh Bear or like uh, Barbarous King. But if not, like someone yeah, really sure. big. I mean, I've collabed with people. I've I've collabed with people on Dokazan. Um, and we've done like egg hunts and stuff and Animal Crossing, um, which is pretty cool. But I, cool. I I think what what's more important than collabing with another big streamer is uh your 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 chemistry with them so you guys mm. see seeing peach and i talk he and i you know, a lot of times you see people talk they're like oh i haven't talked to you since the last time we interviewed or i haven't talked to you since the last time we co-stream peach and i we, we talk off stream True. we talk ideas we, we motivate <laughs> each other because i think it's good to have a support system you know it's similar to um to your field right only yeah. teachers know how other teachers feel and I think that's it's it's the same with streamers. So I don't think that it's about having a dream streamer because I could list you know a, a ton of them. But sure. I think it's fine with someone that you can have chemistry with, and uh, your communities can also mesh. I see a lot yeah. of people from my chat in here, and you know it, 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 the, the the nice overlap. I think they overlap well. So when you're looking for someone, it's not about oh they're huge or they're they're bigger than me. It's only when I'm going to grow. You, right. I think it's good to grow up together. Right, you're, you're trying to boost each other up because uh, what what is what is uh, one of my favorite um quotes uh uh is it a, a rising tide raise all boats or something like mm. that something yeah, like exactly. that so you know it's it's about having the chemistry and having someone that you genuinely like eating and I met Peach through through chat they told me hey is this guy yeah, he looks just like you he's got cubes <laughs> behind you he's also got a Bulbasaur <laughs> like I literally got Bulba True. right there. Yeah. I got the bulba, <laughs> the same exact perspective, and uh, you oh, know, I, I think that's the most important part is finding something. It's going to take you a while. Like I've had people that I've met since almost two years ago, and I can still talk with them. And it's it's about having that camaraderie and supporting yeah. one another. Because at the end of the day, you can have five viewers, hmm. but if you got a few of your friends coming in to talk with you, you can play games with that makes that makes it better, and you can learn from them. Right? That's something that Mr. Beast did for YouTube said you know you can try to I, f I forget exactly what he said but basically if you and five four other people are trying to learn the same thing yeah. you're all going to learn something different you can come together you can learn quicker because you're True. all taking things from each other yeah. right like oh i learned this oh when i did that i learned that you know what i mean so i think that's the best way to do it because you can can sure right you can collab with them and say like oh you know I did a Discord competition. It was a crap ton of work. I had, I gained viewership, but I was exhausted in my personal life. So you have to also find a good work life balance. True. That kind of yeah. Thing. No, it's a good point. It's a good point. It's like you said. It's kind of like colleagues. You know, people in your industry. You gotta you gotta kind of connect with some people, um, right. and not look at it always as how do I grow and how do I. And and that doesn't always work, you know, because there's a lot of people that will kind of like see through that and be like, man, you're mm -hmm. just you just want to hang out with me because, you know, maybe I I can offer you something. Right. But right. Uh, sometimes it's good to just meet people and hang out with them just because you mesh well. Like you said, man, I agree. Right. Um, thanks for the question. Cool Panda. Um, we're going to skip tongues question because it's a little bit. <laughs> I don't think it's a real question. I think it's a joke. Oh, yeah, so it's we'll, a joke. <laughs> we'll go to uh, PT Blue who asks, uh, what was your favorite moment and biggest hurdle you had so far as a streamer? I like that. All one. right. Thank you. I'll, I'll, I'm going to, because I can't answer any question with just one answer. Because um, <laughs> I've had a lot of fun. Uh, one of my most heartwarming moments was my first ever sub. Nice, and I yeah. remember it was me and one of my original viewers and we were there and I was playing uh, Ninjala and he subbed to me and it was my first sub and I won't, you won't forget it guys. I'm telling you, you won't forget your first sub. Yeah, and sure. I was like, Oh my God. And you guys know I celebrate follows at that point. At that point I was just affiliate and I already had an overlay ready just for subs. It was nice. You guys know I switched through like 12 <laughs> scenes, but, um, <laughs> I, it was just so heartwarming. And then another one, he's in chat. I won't, I won't call him out, but he, he didn't even sub to me, but he gifted me five subs. And it wasn't wow. about, oh, like, old pair, you're only talking about subs. No, no, no. It was that someone enjoyed me, and they're also giving it to the community. And it's just like, right. holy shit. Like, it almost, like, like it gets emotional. Because it's like, you know, sure. like I said, it's, it's not about the money. Of course, yeah, right? You're going to be compensated. You're spending hours off stream, on stream. I can, you know, between stream and off stuff, I can spend... 20 to 30 hours easy 
on stream. People yeah. don't see that. They only see you playing the game. They don't see you doing all the behind the scenes stuff. Right. Um, either that or, you know, just any of my celebration streams, the 500, the thousand, the, the whatever, the one year, the one year is actually probably the one year would, would take it. But yeah. Um, yeah. You know, cause you, you, you work hard to connect people. I think that's another thing that I like doing is streaming. I like connecting people. It's not just about me streaming. It's about you meeting someone. Oh, you're also from Minnesota. No way. Or are <laughs> oh, you from the Pacific Northwest? Me too. You know, yeah, I love yeah. Einstein's bagels or whatever the heck. And I think that's the fun part because the world's too at each other. Sometimes you kind of mm. got to make it a little bit smaller in your community. Very true. Very true. And there's a lot of, uh, no, let me say we need a bit more love in the world. We need more people to come together and, uh, and, and share a little bit more love. I think that's what uh, what we need. Nice, man. I love to hear it. You have right. time for uh, one or two more questions? I see some uh, good ones keep, in chat. Keep them, keep them going. Keep You're them good? going. Cool. Yeah. Uh, we have it's my friend. bedtime, but it's fine. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's true. We're, we're old men. We need sleep. We need our rest, you know? Right. <laughs> Uh, Grady Miss, good friend uh, and, uh, and and streamer as well, asks, "Why do you think people come back to watch you specifically? What mm. makes you stand out amongst the pack?" Ooh. Thanks for the question, Grady. What's up, man? Damn, that's a good question. That's a good question. You're gonna have to clip this on YouTube. I'm gonna have to think <laughs> about this for a sec. Well, um, speaking of YouTube, Grady Mist was uh, our first guest here on episode one. If, uh, yes, and if I you guys remember, didn't watch that, you can that. Uh, click the card up here to go watch episode one. <laughs> I don't know where I'm gonna be, but click it. Um, um, well, it makes me stand. I think my chat would be better at answering that than me. But I would just say, I try to keep things lighthearted because. Mm. As someone, you know, we all go through shit. And at the end of the day, someone's going to watch you because they want to forget what they're doing. Whether True. they had a good day or a bad day. They're just like, I want to zone out, mm -hmm. watch you get your butt whooped in Mario Kart. <laughs> or I want to see this Animal Crossing Island tour. Um, mm -hmm. And I think what also separates, I guess, well, if I were to, you know, it's hard judging yourself, um, is that I try to make the community up together. To support one another whether it's oh i had so and so draw a picture for me or they made my emotes or oh i was following them on instagram you know that's another big thing it's like you know when i tour someone's island or if there's a streamer i'm like go follow them and it was like mm -hmm. you before this interview i'm like sharing it twitter instagram my discord i'm just like hey come, come come support you know the 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 sexiest peach on twitch <laughs> and uh you know come as i try not to ramble on too much Thank you. Dude. Um, I think I think it's just about having fun. I try to keep it lighthearted. Um, and when it doesn't, you know, sometimes you got to have those serious conversations with your True. children. Uh, you make yeah. mistakes. I'm I'm a big uh, believer in you know second, third chances. You know, forgive but don't forget because mm. we all do dumb shit, say dumb shit. Um, yeah, of course. And I'm always very honest about, hey, you know what? I messed up, and yeah. I'll admit it. And I think just being honest, like you said earlier in the stream, you know, be, be yourself. Mm -hmm. People can people can see that whether you put time into your stream or if you're you know, being a jerk. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> definitely, tell. definitely. Um, it escapes me now, but um, yeah, good question, <laughs> good question. If it comes back, I will. Great uh, I will great, great, great question. Um, all right, we got Chris in the chat. How are you, Chris? Welcome in. Did you both always have a good relationship growing up or did you fight a lot? Also, which one of you is your mom's favorite son? Oh, okay. Because we're like favorite. brothers. I'm I don't really, you know, our vibes are similar, but I don't really see how we look similar. I mean, do, wait, which, what side is he at? Wait. Yeah, 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 you're good. Keep going. <laughs> oh, yeah, I was on the right side. I was, hey. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> You know what? Oh, We're both mom's favorite. All right. Skip that exactly. question. <laughs> exactly. How do you how do you pick a favorite between two amazing people? Yeah, we're twins. Or at least one. At least one. You know. At least this oh, guy. Now boy. that I'm only, now that I know you're on this side, I guess you should have looked at that earlier. Which way are you? You're here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh God. All right. Um, do you have any last questions in chat? Um, if I'm, I don't know if I'm if I'm missing any or not. Uh, would, I, would I rather be a sea otter, wolf, or falcon? I'd rather be a parrot, because uh, <laughs> or a turtle. 
Or turtle. Damn it, you're right. He's <laughs> listening right now. Um. Yes, definitely bring them on. How long do you see yourself streaming? Umi asks. Hmm. Um, I would say, I mean, I like I I work for myself, so I literally work from home. I go to meetings. I'm to work and I my my schedule is work in the morning, <clears throat> stream in the afternoon, and then try to have personal life at night, which why I, which is the reason I don't stream at night consistently at least. Um I would say until I don't like it or if I feel like my regular work is just like I'm booming and I'm doing crazy busy cuz you know that's my money maker, right? Twitch isn't my money and all the all the money I make from Twitch I always tell people goes into emotes, goes into YouTube videos. Yeah. Um and it goes into um like the merch designs. Every uh, all every dollar goes into stream. You know, the new mic, right? Like I saved up for it. I you know put the money aside and like that, you know, or the yeah. I go XLR XLR mini. All that stuff goes into it. You know? Yeah, likewise. And I think that's the best way. Invest in your investment. Mm. So like I'm gonna stream. Hey, I made fifty bucks this month. You know what? Use that if you want to update your logo or use that for new emotes because people are gonna see, sure. hey, I put the money in there for it. True. Yeah, it's true. And I think you said invest. I think it should be invest in yourself, you know? Yeah. Because if you're yeah. streaming, um, oh, it came back, my, by the way, my thought train came back. Um, invest in yourself. Goes around, comes around. You know, yeah. <laughs> invest in yourself, you know? You're coming out on stream. Right. You're coming out to be, uh, to show yourself, to give value in whatever type of way, you know? Some people uh, are entertaining. Some people are informative. Some people tell stories. Some people are, are funny, whatever it is, right? Invest yeah. in yourself. Trust in hey, yourself, right? And put dad, dad jokes, baby. Invest in them dad jokes. <laughs> when are we going to get some uh, absurd parrot dad joke, uh, you know, I make, them every day. I make them every day on stream, guys. No, but oh, I want I mean, like people cards. can buy them. Like a board game. <laughs> a board game. Be sick. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, what's I'll that game called? It. Cards Against Humanity. Yeah, uh, Absurd Against Parrot, something like yeah. that. Yeah. <laughs> oh, a parrot, want... ag parrot Against uh, Absurdity. There you go. That's perfect. <laughs> sold copyrighted um you heard it here first guys what i want to say earlier which uh i won't digress too much but what i want to say earlier we were talking about authenticity on stream about making mistakes on stream if you're a streamer you're live on twitch yep i don't know if people realize that you're literally live anything i see right now is on the internet you guys can clip it you guys it's can save forever. it it, there forever. It, it could literally be there forever some people manage to get their stuff off uh if something happens but sometimes people are there to and and they're recording your stream you, you never know you never know you know so um that's something to uh to be aware of and to also like you said about the mistakes um it's okay it, things happen right we're human we're normal it's live uh shit happens and and own up to it and and it's all good move on you know right um that's what I want to bring up. Um, <laughs> okay. Okay. I think we got uh, two last questions. One is from Nonsense Socks. What's next for Absurd Parrot? What does living the dream look like? That's like a really living good a, question. Living the dream. Well, let me put on my living the dream <laughs> glasses here. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I'm, I'm, all, I'm all about the items that you have on your stream with you. Um, I love it. What's next for me? I mean... Personally, I'm gonna keep. I keep working on my my personal business. I uh, 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 keep pushing architecture because that you know what I went to school for. I do enjoy it. I take some sort of stream. I like um, being in people's houses and helping them <laughs> improve. Now you know. Um, I think just keep bettering myself, keep improving. Um, yeah. As far as stream goes. Um, like I said, I'm kind of like trying to not change my brand, but kind of like, you know, just fix a few things. And I, I know better things now, right? So like the channel points are a big thing. If I didn't have channel point redemptions, I would never have had garbage banana. Mm, one, of my, right. one of my memes. Or if I had never taken Benadryl that one day on stream playing The Sims, I would have never <laughs> made my Sims and had some amazing clips. Like the dumbest things, you know, like. Yeah. Um. I think just keep pushing forward. Like you said, you can only compare yourself to your past self and how you've grown. So, yeah. And I we, think we could, we could be our own worst judges, but we can also use that true. constructive criticism, hopefully constructive, like better yourself, you know? True. Yeah. 
Okay. And one thing that uh, was was brought to me or that came up and uh, I don't know if it was, I saw it on TikTok. I think it was on TikTok that if you if you have like a goal, if you have a destination in mind, not necessarily a goal of number of followers or something like that, but you have a dream, you have a focus. If you're so fixated on that, you might miss out on opportunities that are outside of yeah. that, that if you know, by by focusing so much on what's what's like where that is and how i'm gonna get there um you might miss out right whereas if it's just every day bettering yourself improving the things uh and and working towards that goal then you might be able to see some some other stuff pop up on the side right like i didn't right. never thought i would be here right i when i first started streaming i was doing game development and i was creating my own video game i was coding and programming right um and then things changed up and I started doing gaming. Uh, and now <clears throat> here I am, you know, giving uh, tips and, and advice and helping other streamers grow their stream and new streamers get their stuff set up. And I, I never thought that could be a, an opportunity, right? But if I was so laser focused on becoming a, you know, gaming streamer, a video gaming streamer, um, and being known for maybe one specific game or whatever it is, <clears throat> I might not be here, right? And you guys might not be here either right here, right now, right? So uh keep your keep your uh keep your eyes open you never know all right we'll take one last question from chat uh before we uh before we call it a night we'll let uh we'll let parrot get some get some sleep get some shut eye for his stream tomorrow morning <laughs> that you guys are all going to be at um all right blue asks if someone new wanted to stream what should be the first piece of equipment someone should invest in mm. i would say a microphone so for me it depends like okay. i was under the idea of i don't know how long it but i think i spent a little bit of money on a logo um i already had a computer set up so i was very uh fortunate where my computer is meant for 3d modeling so it can handle games easy okay um but if yeah. you if you already got some type of computer because that's kind of a given if you're going to stream you need it right. you know a pc <clears throat> max or not great <laughs> uh I, I have a mac but not for streaming yeah, same. Um, I like for me the first thing I got was uh, the Logitech camera mic combo because so I was like, you know what, it's not the greatest sound quality, but people can see me, they can hear me. Uh, I would say that's the first thing. If you're not going to use a camera, then probably a decent microphone. Yeah, so they they can hear you talk, right? So I would say something either visually or um, uh, you know, they can they can hear you. And that's the that's the reason the first real upgrade I made was this microphone because. Some people just listen to you as a podcast. So if they hear you and they, they like the sound quality, they're like, oh, come back. You know? Yeah, definitely. When I, when I first started, like I said, the mic I had, they heard, they're like, hey, I hear the dogs barking parrot. I'm like, <laughs> ah, that's the worst thing to hear because it's like, <clears throat> what else yeah, can you hear? Like <laughs> yeah, true. What else could they hear? Yeah. 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 I think I would say a microphone just because you don't necessarily need to have a camera to stream on Twitch and, right. and, and to build up a community. There's a right. lot of uh, no cam streamer. There's this term going around, by the way, that we need to stop, guys. We need to stop this. There's no such thing as a faceless streamer. A faceless yeah. streamer means you don't have a face, okay? No, you're a no cam streamer. You, the thing that you don't have is a camera, not a face. Yeah, if anything, so. it's just, you know, no face, like from a uh, bearded away, right? Um, <laughs> yeah, exactly. So I think that you could still grow a community and build a community. There's so many no cam streamers out there. Um, having a microphone, I think people resonate with like nice audio and nice sound, you know, and they still get the visuals of the stream of what you're playing, right? Uh, right. And then later on, you can do a face reveal when you get a camera, you know, that could be could be a whole thing around it you know right i do have one last tip one final tip would love to hear before it. you go this is gonna be the beginning of the youtube clip now um <laughs> i would say if you're streaming if you can depending you know what you're what you can do or what's what, what's possible do things outside of stream walk in the park go out with your friends you know maybe play another game or watch shows because when you're on stream you need things to talk about you need fuel True. So like for me, you know, I went apple picking this weekend. You can chat about that. You can you know, like, you know, I was I was playing Mario Rabbids. I could talk about that because I think you should play games off stream as well. But do other things because you don't want to be one dimensional where it's like, 
all right, I stream six days a week. You have one day <laughs> off, and that one day you sleep for twelve hours. Like it's it's you know it's going to drain you. And also, you should be focusing on, focusing on more than Twitch. Like you said, the algorithm is a great. You know, stream on right. Twitch, post on YouTube, post on TikTok, post on whatever you want, and you know do other things because people want to talk to someone that's also doing life experiences. Right? I went to Vegas a month ago, and I talk about that still. You know, I'm still talking about that. Yeah. So do other things because it it also makes you a or well-rounded person and streamer to talk about. For sure. You can only talk about, you know, so many things on Breath of the Wild where it's like, <laughs> all right, I get it. That's a moblin, you know. Oh, Cobblin, yeah. you killed him. Great job. <laughs> That's a bow and arrow. We get it. Yeah, <laughs> no, it's true. It's true. And on the same, you know, token is you also need to be doing things off stream just for your own self, just for your right. own you know, it shouldn't be constantly stream community mm -hmm. and, the, you know, posting and creating. You need time for your own self, just just like a regular job, right? A regular job, you work, let's say, nine to five, Monday to Friday, for example. Um, you get the weekends off, you get your nights off with streaming and with content creation. It's like it could be 24 seven because right. you could just keep going and keep going. But right. I think you need to schedule in some of that downtime so you could do other things like game off stream um you know hang out with your significant other date nights um whatever it is right definitely very important very important parrot dude thank you very much uh for your time parrot it was lovely to chat with you and get to know you a little bit more learn a bit more about your history and all that thank oh, you so much for coming thank on thank you for having me thank you for having me i'm honored honored to be on here I appreciate it. I'm, <laughs> I'm honored to uh, have you here. I think uh, we'll definitely be, definitely be gaming again in the very near future. I know you're playing Dead by Daylight, so uh, we'll, we'll, get we'll better. be... Yeah, we'll definitely be setting something up. Maybe another round of Ghostbusters or something. Hey, you know what? Yeah, definitely yeah. could be around the corner. Yeah. Cool, dude. Thank you very much, Parrot. Take yeah, care of yourself. Thank you for having me. All have right. a good night. We'll talk soon. You too. See you later. Bye.